this car is fitted with the AMG line so it's more sporty in the exterior and the interior you can see this beautiful uh, dark brown leather and like I said you can see this uh, flat bottom steering wheel which looks very good so let's step in also we have the sub clothes here we have the start stop button for the engine and we can see the two master screens the latest uh, infotainment of the mercedes-benz it called it mbux so the displays are very very crisp and it's very uh, simple to use which is very good thing and you can use for example with this uh, touchpad this is for the center screen this is for the driver also we have the touchpad here so it gives it gives very nice feedback and you can see this uh, very soft to rest your hand when you are uh, working with uh, this touchpad and you can go in the touch screen and you can talk with the system so let's start with the steering wheel so you can see we have this aluminum also we have the stitching in the center and the leather is very very good here we have the stick for transmission like uh, we know in mercedes vans so up for reverse down for drive so you can see we have the 360 degree camera which is very good thing for that uh, big suv and we can change the view you can see the rims so you don't scratch them beautiful here we have the volume control the telephone the touchpad like i said you can see i can control this one which is very good the voice command and this is for the driver display so you can see it work very very good and it's very responsive you can change the display also you can get there the full navigation screen and the bottom is for the cruise control so here we have the controls for seats like we know in all mercedes we have in the door also this car is fitted with uh, ventilated and heated seats which is very good thing for the summer hot days and we can see some information here so we can see the navigation you can zoom in and zoom out and when you are driving is very very uh, easy to work with so here we have the climate control the dash design is the uh, same like in the gla so it's very good thing i really prefer to have the circle air vents like uh, latest uh, mercedes vents for example in the new a-class cls and inside the air vent they have the ambient light but uh, after all it uh, looks very good especially with uh, this massive two screens and we can see we have the air suspension the manual stuff like that Here we have some shortcut buttons the volume the home the car favorites telephone and the driving modes so we can go for example in the let me start in the comfort eco sport and individual very good so we can see now a little bit for the storage you can see we have two cup holders with uh, cooled and heated which is very good thing and here we have the wireless charging you can see the center armrest is very deep and you have the USB-C port there and of course the glove box and you can get the perfume so it smells very good inside the cabin and we can see 
the size store is, is massive. You can put there the big bottle. We have the electric uh, trunk. And you can see with all seats up, you have very good space. But if you want more uh, space in the trunk, you can split this uh, seats. Which we can go in uh, electric here. Very, very good. So, right now, let's check the back seats of this uh, GLS. So, you can see the door is massive in the back and it's opening very wide. Also, we have the illuminated Mercedes vents right in there, which is very good thing, especially in the night. Also, this ambient light is very gorgeous. I forget to mention that. And with this step, it's a lot more easy to jump in. So, here we are. And uh, also, we have the panoramic sunroof. And you can see I have plenty, plenty of legroom, guys. Beautiful. And you can see the headroom is massive. And I really, really love the back seats of the GLS. Uh, but uh, maybe, if you ask me, maybe the X7 in the back seats is uh, more comfortable. I don't know, the seats are very comfortable in the X7. Don't get me wrong, also this one is very comfortable, but uh, I think the X7 is better in the back passengers. So we can see we have the uh, climb control for the rear passengers. Here we have the uh, armrest and you can see this feels a little bit cheap. And you can see we have little storage. And of course we have two cup holders here. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of the new Mercedes-Benz GLS. Comment down below what do you think and don't forget to subscribe for more videos to come. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Back to the video.